<laughs> That's great. I think we are. Okay, I gave you the stream key. Oh, I need to open the stream myself, though. Yeah, because we're on, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll, oh, just, yeah. we'll we just cut it here. Hey, everybody, welcome to the uh, 14th Weekly Bowstring Tension Cup. I am Shifu. I'm joined by Sithis. Oh, of course you are. Hello, everybody. That's me, Sithis. I have a blue t-shirt today because I want to support Team Blue. Team uh, Blue? What is Team Blue? The Northern Realms. Northern Realms, I like it. Actually, I've been playing. It's funny, I have Skellige here, but I've been playing a lot of monsters uh, lately. All right. Yeah, I know. I have, I've, I've, uh, I don't know why, but uh, yeah. So this is the four. Actually, there's big news. I think um, on the bowstring tension front, didn't you in their cash prizes going forward? Yeah, so starting from actually tomorrow's tournament, we start to offer cash prizes. That's going to be a $35 prize pool. So 20 goes to winner, 10 goes to the second place, and the five bucks go into third one. So there is always a chance to, you know, get some money into your pocket. And uh, that's good. That's attention. awesome, man. Yeah. And that's, yeah, that's, I, eight, that's August 7th. For those of you that are watching this, this was August. Yeah, it starts course. August seventh. Yeah, man, good stuff. So we have actually a little bonus for everybody out there. Um, I love casting with Sithis. I've said it many times. I truly mean it. We are gonna do two matches. We're gonna do the third place match first, and then the finals. Because um, we want to keep all the hype. Right, dude. Right? We're getting a lot of. I'm getting a lot of. I'm. Get, I got uh, 15 letters. Last week, saying how much they enjoyed us on my shifu the cards at gmail.com. Please keep those letters coming, by the way. Uh, Sithis doesn't think he's very good. I think he's amazing. So uh, I appreciate everybody, especially Ruby Bard, made a really nice thing about you. So this said you were very hot. So, I'm very hot. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get that. I'm like, hey, I'm like, yeah, I think, I think, <laughs> yeah. Before you start jealousing me, man, I want to say that I got zero mails and coming to my uh, email about how good I am at custom. So, I guess you are 15 mails ahead per week. Where is what is your email address for those of you, everybody? Oh, you don't want to give it, probably. Uh, Never mind. Don't don't give it out. Guys, you can uh, send those to me in Discord if you like it. But there you go, Discord. <laughs> that works at Discord. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so the third place game. Uh, this is uh, some exciting stuff. And I just want to say for our younger viewers, in the finals we have a very controversial name, which is going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to have a lot of fun saying it, but uh, we will uh, we will just go on from there. So we'll go to, right to the third yeah. place. Yeah. This is a slight peek to the finals before we even start the third place match for one of you like who like cherries and pies. I don't know. Do you like cherries and pies? I do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do like cherries and pies. Uh, it's the cherry on top. I like everything. Look at me. I'm huge. What are you talking about? All right, let's go to the next. One. Let's go. To the, this is the third place game. Uh, we did not get a uh, sit this. It was all, uh, the technical wizard did not get a chance to do both hands, so only see one uh, hand. It's Dirty net head. deck. Look at that. Yeah, look at this. This is the team blue. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> he didn't see this one, so he is going to be doing this. <laughs> With shock and awe, like the rest of us. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Third place game. Uh, congratulations to both competitors for making it to the third place game. That's really awesome. And it's my honor to shout cast this game. So we have Maxim, Maxim Munzito, against Musher. I like that. I like both names. Pretty good. Eminem battle. Eminem? Yeah. We got Radovid versus King Brand. So it's like maybe a control Radovid against uh, maybe Discard, possibly. Yeah, Discard. Is there any other archetype than Discard? <sighs> that works, I mean. Maybe Siri Dash, maybe, but mostly Discard. And still, Siri Dash focuses on Discard as well, yeah. Maybe Queen's about... Guard. Could be Queen's Guard. Oh, yeah, Queen's Guard. Yeah. Uh, is that actually annoying to play this deck? I don't know. Well, it, it, it's funny because uh, this is probably a bad matchup for a Radovid player because you're removing stuff and and Skellige could just bring it back from the graveyard. So it might be a difficult matchup for Northern Realms here. Uh, so we have to guess. What is it? Yeah, discard. Discard, All yeah. Right. <laughs> Once you see that boat, you know you know it's discard time. That boat is a very big indicator. Uh, do we need to wait for this golden bird 
around three, which we all like. The Golden Bird. <laughs> you're talking about Villa Metro Mirth? Nope. Oh, you're talking about Camby. You think he's going to run yeah. Camby? I don't know. I just want to see it. I yeah. love Camby. Uh, the Golden Bird. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the Golden Cockerel. Camby. Yeah, man. Uh, I don't know. I, um, This is going to be a tough matchup for uh, Northern Realms here, I think. There comes, of course, the patented Ceres into the graveyard. Will we see, uh, is he running Morkvarg and Olgird, I wonder? I think he does. Now, there's a standard play. The Ballista, really effective, especially against Monster Swarm decks. Uh, still will be effective here against um, Skellige to a lesser extent. So he's like taking his sweet time in bad positioning. Oh no, I'd rather it so early. What do you think? I would think he would. I'm I'm kind of surprised by that. Honestly, I thought maybe he would. Uh, it's it's early, yeah. but he's definitely control of the first round. Ah, uh, let's see. But he has another lock for it. That's probably his thinking. Is he gonna you use the lock? To, you think? Uh, yes. Well, you already committed, do you? Yeah. No. I didn't hear him. Why not? I would block. Or put that ballista to use the um, to bounce back with a siege, possibly. So he's clearing. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know about that. That gives him a chance to resurrect it with priestess of Freya. That could bite so, him. Okay. Well, this is not princess of Freya for now. All right, he's gonna bounce it back. That was a pretty smart play by Musher there, thinking that the mm -hmm. Dunham pirates were coming. He's gonna use that ballista to hit them twice, three times actually. Really put some damage yep. on the longship and the and the pirates. Good play by Musher there. Look at that. That was smart. You know, that was there's Old Geard, okay. A very common strategy for those you don't know is that, that Skellige would use Old Geard and Morkvarg because they would come back in each round and that would help bring Ceres back over the course of the round to get power in round three. Really smart plays by Musher here. Great use. Setting up the uh, ballista to bring the Dunham Pirate and yep. the Longship in range of um, Vernon and, Roche. And I guess we'll see a uh, pass now from both of players. Oh, yeah. I would think so. He can't. Oh, he's. Go well, of course. Yeah, he played Thaler, of yeah. course. Of course. Getting the scorch. Uh, this is like an opportunity for 2 0, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, you invest in your own uh, spy after opponents. So you're clearly aiming for 2 0. And you really want to beat Skellige in two rounds if you're Northern Round. You don't want it to go that third round because they just get yep. more powerful as it goes. Well played. Oh, Very well played. and this is the pass from Skellige player. He understands, I guess, how the stars are forming bad for him. Oh, yeah. For this moment. He's not feeling good right now. This is not a good situation. Because you know that... I don't think he got many clear... I don't think... Um, uh, 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 Bloody Baron's going to be that big right now. He'd probably kick it back. Yeah, it's just mm -hmm. a 10 right now. And there is a lock. He doesn't have a lot of offense, so look at that hand. He doesn't have a lot of... Uh... Yeah, he's going to kick it back. There we go. Mm, he probably will lock the uh, old geared, possibly. He's very defensive. This is a very good defensive uh, deck. Let's we'll see if he's going to go with reinforcement. What do you think he's going to go with reinforcement here? Yeah, team, sure. Team Blue. Of course. Yeah, this Drake. Play that Drake. Nah, Ballista is better. No? Do you actually want to play anything with damages now? I, I don't think so, but you kind of have to, don't you? Yeah, because you have that um, the Siege Expert, so you're going to need to bounce something yeah. back, so you have to get something to bounce it back. Plus, you have uh, Reaver Hunter. Oh, uh, I think we're going to see a lock here. Uh, just, yeah. This is the last vote, by the way, for this Caligar player. That's a good call. That's right. Unless he wants to resurrect it, I don't know. There we go. So it's both Old Geard and Morkvark. <laughs> very, very common play. A very smart play by Maxim. You want to have that to bring back uh, Ceres in round three, because they'll both trigger it. And now, do we lock Morkvark is the question. Or do we just bounce back and pound? He's going to bounce yeah. back and pound, yeah. Siege support. You're not going to get a lot of that. value because the staggered, they're 9, 6, and 3. They're very staggered. So you're not going to get a ton of value from this. 
Yeah, but you kind of have to. Well, yeah. You may, yeah, this is going to be one, right? Ah, uh, there's a scorch. Or will he save it? This is a, this is these are the tough calls with with this Northern Realms control. When do you use the cards, and when do you not? I don't know. I would really like to pass here, but it's a weak pass, though. Yeah. He... He's in bad. Look how many cards he's down right now. He's not in a great position. Yeah. So he's gonna try to obviously take as much down as he can. He's still not killing anything, so that Bloody Baron is still only a ten right now. Of course, yeah. And, and do you actually want to like dig for it in the third round? Oh yeah, oh. something was stolen. And ballista. Okay, that's yeah. not too bad. He's probably gonna search for another siege siege technician and then pop the ballista back. Um, still not gonna get a lot of value Actually, though. Well, how do you get to the, the ballista if it, that was already a third? So yeah, he goes with the siege support. That was his third ballista, if I'm not mistaken. So he can't to uh, scout it. This is interesting. Yeah, this is it. He's got to pass here now. He because he needs at least three cards in hand to activate Bork or Vilmetrimurth. He did. It yeah. was very successful because he did get two clan uh, or the pirate captains out of his hand. So he does. He's, he's not going against a lot of strength next round. He's gonna pass. He's got to. Yeah, you can't really waste scores here. Like, can you? No, because nah. you, you need three cards. You have to have three cards. So he's got to play Vilmetrimurth yeah. first. Then he could play Blade Baron, and then the Scorch. That's what he's got to do. And scorch it, baby, scorch it. He's played it really well, Maxim ha uh, Mush Musher has, and Maxim's played it, his, his strategy really, and there comes Ceres based off of the Mork Varg and the Old Geard. So that's yep. 13 strength just from just from passives, really. Um, and and you don't, you don't, you keep the hand, of course. Yeah, yeah, but it isn't going to be enough. He'll have 19 strength total, that's all he's going to have. Uh, well, his strength is golden, though. It doesn't burn. Yeah, but that's all he's going to have, 19. And I'm looking at, if he scorches the 4, he's going to scorch the 14, obviously. So that's going to be gone. Yeah. Um, It's going to be very close. It's going to be very close. Oh, Freya comes into play. Let's see. Yeah, 12. Put it on, baby. So if he drops, yeah. the, if he drops 2... He still has 8, mm -hmm. 10, 14. Yeah, a Skeletal player is going to win this one. Because uh, he just needs 5 points now in the next 2 cards to win. Because even if he's, he's gonna, Bork's going to scorch the 14, the Scorch is going to scorch mm -hmm. the 12, he still has 14 points after the Scorches right now. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much over. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, it's 3 and... Uh... You and, need to pick something that is not 12, but likely for him, there is nothing right. that. Yeah, <laughs> that it's, 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 yeah, he's got it. So too much power. Great plays by Maxim, uh, keeping his huh. wits about him. Um, this, it's just really tough. Like I said, it's just because of the graveyard manipulation, this is a tough matchup for uh, Northern Realms. Uh, what a pity, man. Oh, no. No, no, <laughs> no, no, don't. don't. Why, why, why do you... Okay, he killed a, he killed a girl, man, to bring up the man. I don't like it. <laughs> Sexism. <laughs> All right, so Maxim goes up 1-0. Uh, very well played. Uh, just it, it, yeah. That's just the power. Um, Northern Realms struggles against... Northern Realms control struggles against Skellige because Skellige is the best faction. We all know this. Yeah. Uh, right after you clean from the leaf from Fertile, we can talk. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna. I think we're gonna go right into the second match. We might see some. Uh, they, no, they wait. We're gonna see some chatting, and uh, we have a pleasure to look at the players. Uh, uh, you know, balance about the gold, about the uh, dust he has, level and the frame and the Yennefer. He likes uh, girls with the black hairs, I guess. There we go. Oh, I had, what it is. I had actually... Now we have lights everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I had forgotten to turn on your uh, background. It, it apparently oh, had, yeah. it had turned off. I know, all that hard work you did, and I just I had let it go. I didn't. I actually 
well, I made the video and then I asked someone else to render it because uh, my PC couldn't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. So this will be Control Radovid versus Control Radovid. Uh, there's really no yeah. other choice. It's only going to be Control Radovid. Unless you have alternative strategies which are beneficial, which is none, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I have not seen any. Uh, this is a very but, common uh, Radovid build with the Snows and the Adepts and the Redanian Knights. It's very, very common uh, Radovid. Given it can be huge this game, though. Yeah. Content, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so, I'm pretty happy about this game because no matter what, uh, Radovid wins. <laughs> Team Blue. I got it. <laughs> so the Adept comes down. It's on the Kidwani row. Yeah. Um, this is actually fine. I like it. Yeah. I mean, um, the one of the problems I find with Control Radovid is that you, you find yourself, if things don't go right, behind early on points. If the other person is aggressive, that snow takes a while to really add up damage, so the first round can be very difficult to maneuver. All right. Well, we can see that the the player which is on top now takes his sweet time to make a decision and goes with a ballista. Wow. Fun. It's not clear enough that maybe he's going for siege support or something? No. Okay. Here's the Drake with the unpronounceable name gonna uh, deny this possibility. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I'm gonna say Murder Brock, but I'm pretty sure it's horrible. It's probably wrong. So what do you do here? I guess you go ahead and uh, put the knight out, or do you? Ah, you gotta put the knight out, right? Or do you play Sabrina and clear skies? Yeah, it, let's play this card. Oh, I'm sorry. Dirt. It was uh, it was it was Maxim's turn. I apologize. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, th counter yeah, sailors. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. Because, yeah. oh, you can. He's got to go. Night work. Yeah, yeah, he's got to go Villa Mesmer. I mean, Bork. That's too strong. You have, you have Dragon Whoa! Flag. No! Dragon Whoa. Slag. Oh! Oh! We see Ragnarug! Wow. Uh, we have Clear Skies for it, so it's, it's not a problem. <laughs> yeah, but man. Yeah, that's perfect. Sheila, uh, Sheila into uh, Clear Skies to draw a card. Very smart. Well done. I think I said Sabrina earlier. I meant Sheila. Although also a really cool character in The Witcher 2 if you haven't played it. A really cool story with her, especially at the end of the game with the, the mirror and the glass. Alright, so he goes with first light, clears that. Uh, get out of here, Ragnarok. Yeah. Ragnarok. It's a medieval folk folklore. Nothing for from, you know, Vikings here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, how, I wonder if he's... I, ah, man, I... The, that was a really uh, great musher with the getting the um, stamina for Tremor over Villa Metromirth. But then again, really, if you think about it, there's not going to be a big target for Villa Metromirth to hit in a in a mirror against Radovid. Yeah, of course. That's why he denies the possibility of Siege Guy. Yeah. Yep. Mm, I guess we're going to see pass soon, no? Ah, uh. uh, he's... He's gonna keep on playing. Uh, yeah, he's gonna keep on playing. I, I don't know. Pla still playing? Yeah, I guess. Oops, sorry. I hit, hit my mic. Not getting a lot of value from the ballistas that you would against monsters. Obviously, this was uh, really strong mm -hmm. against monsters in this current meta at the time. Oh, we see a scorch dropping for for nine, or excuse me, uh, Igni, yeah. I should say. Oh wait, uh, why uh, did he? Place it on the mid row. I don't know. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to. Th uh, <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. There's. I'm sure there's some. Yeah. Okay. There's a mistake. I all was right, thinking maybe right. there's some next level plays going on. I'm trying to think. Like. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, it's, all right. It, wow. Happens. Yeah. Oh yeah. What a great positioning of the siege expert putting that ballista down. I'm gonna pound him. Um. This is gonna be a pass, I believe, at this point. Well, yes. uh, l let's say this uh, Gigni uh, went to the right place. It would kill only uh, 
spy which you put there yourself so it's not a uh, beneficial uh, card wise I, I say yeah it's but, not yeah. a terrible move especially considering what he played right after but yeah. uh, you definitely can you can you regroup and uh, cause that's still gonna you know when you misplay like that sometimes it can get in your head and mess with your confidence a little bit that's why you need to have a girl that supports you <laughs> Right? That's not a bad thing. Yeah. Oh, uh, Scorch. Nice. And I was reading psychology books for four years, so you got to trust me on this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I didn't. <laughs> so if you're, if you're Musher, you see Villa Metromorph come down, that signals that, that Maxim's trying to take it right here. That's, it, it's, this is the kill round. He's got to survive. That's why he's going to put... Um, Vernon Roche out there to get as many points as possible. He can't take out. And he needs to hold for three turns now, right? Yeah. And he he is uh, able to do it. He has the resources to waste uh, to deny the huge pork. That was a great play by Musher there because he doesn't give anything for um, Radovid to hit. So if he would have played that. Uh, the Redanian Knight, he, Radovid probably would have smacked it. So, really smart play. Puts um, Maxim in a tough position here. All right, here's, uh, this will be interesting to see what he goes for here. Uh, this made the mid middle card. No? Middle card. No. Okay. <laughs> Let's pick well, you said card. middle. Yeah, yeah. Here yeah. We go. Look at you, psychic. Okay, just going for some points. I'm just mentalist, man. Yeah, you are. That, that, that's how it works. I see a Scorch coming. I'm thinking Scorch. Scorch or Radovid, I'm thinking. Uh, I, I would be a bit greedy. Where would you go? I, uh, clear skies into clear skies. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> and then he plays the second, uh, the third uh, night, and then I go uh, with the Scorch. But yeah, it's also fine. If Fighting you Frost, want to. yeah. Frost. Frost is smart. He doesn't want to. He's, well, he's trying. He's, he's really playing smart, Musher. He doesn't want to give Radovid any targets, or also Villa Metromorph any targets to Scorch. So he is really p expertly playing around that Villa Metromorph. And what? But yes, that's what I say. The clear skies into clear skies is better. <laughs> <laughs> the old clear skies into clear skies combo. Yeah. Okay. That's how you play Square Tail. That was a second. great pass by Maxim. That puts the pressure. That was a yeah. beautiful pass. And now he wasted the. Uh, what was that? Tell me. The Biting Frost. Yeah, I mean, he, they both played this really well. Um, great play by Maxim. Put it on there. Great play by Musher. The problem is now, Maxim. Well, the problem for Musher is Maxim still has Radovid. And it that did. is a really nice 13-point hammer to have in the uh, but, Yeah, but it is a board for uh, the musher. If he gets one, no. Nope. Okay. Well, maybe he can kick back that clear skies. Yeah, why, why do we need that card? That, that would be much better wasted. Kick it out, drop it. No, don't drop the Scorch. Scorch is oh. nice. Of course. Oh, this is huge. Yep. Well, he's going to have to just hope that there's no removals. Uh, such as? Uh, Alzer's Thunder. Uh, didn't get, only got eight points out of uh, Blade Baron. Blade Baron, he, he, so this is going to be a crazy ending. This is going to be a great ending. Um, uh -huh. Maxim smartly is waiting to drop Radovid until he has two targets to get maximum value. Yeah. This is, a this is where a chess match, this is where Gwent just excels. Ooh, he doesn't... Okay, perfect. He didn't break the armor, so he doesn't worry about it getting plus two. Yep. Uh, clear skies into a unit? That's probably... Yeah, I would think that would have been a good play. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, no, maybe that... he goes with his armor? Yeah. He's well, just putting out there. Go. Yeah. yeah. There I you go, clear skies, yeah. Space. Yeah, great call. I think that was the right play. That was a good call. Let's see yeah, of gets. course. That works. Mm, all right. Yeah. All right. That works. And, and uh, he has Biden throws, which makes all my uh, worrying about the wasting uh, Biden throws last round and uh, 
professional. I'd say. <laughs> well, the the brilliance of using that clear skies that you called it was great because he couldn't hit another Redanian knight, so he gets plus two out of it. Yeah. Great bounce back from Maxim bouncing back the ballista. Beautiful play. Hitting, yeah, that was great. He doesn't break the armor, or does it? Oh, he does. The armor hadn't oh. happened yet. Uh, Here yeah, we go. Night. Nice play. Great counter play. This is going to be crazy. This is going to be crazy. Oh, Alzer's Thunder. Hits it before Here the armor hits. <laughs> this well. is great. So he will finish with 29. And... Yeah. Wow. Oh, no. It's enough. Tris. I know. And that was, that's it. 2-0, Maxim. Great plays by both. Maxim takes third place in the 14th Bowstring Tension Cup. That's some good stuff. That was some good stuff. So, I'm pretty you... happy that Radovid won, but at the same time, I'm pretty sad that Radovid lost. <laughs> It's a, it's a, it's a tough time. I I it feels like you're taking this emotionally hard. This is uh <laughs> this is good stuff. Like you are really struggling with this. Uh, yeah, thanks for noticing. Yeah, <laughs> now everybody it. knows that I'm struggling. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me uh, let me go. So we are um all right. Here we go. So can you are we still synced up? By the way, you still see everything's good. Yep. Perfect. Cool. Okay. So the final uh, match is between, um, well, Max Evans and um, Gonorrhea. Yep. That's right. So Gonorrhea. Max Evans is trying not to catch Gonorrhea and defeat it. Oh, man. See? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And kids, use protection. That's all I'm going to say. This public service announcement is brought to you by the Bowstring Tension Cup. Okay. We did get paid for it by the way right it would be a real nice if they did pay us when i saw when i saw the, the chat that 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 gonorrhea had won i was like oh this is gonna be a fun shoutcast today so yeah of course it is. so let's get into yeah. some gonorrhea what do you say uh no but i would really like to continue to match <laughs> all right let's do it all right so this is the championship match uh max evans against gonorrhea all right. Oof. Okay, so we got uh, Dagon. Looks like the co the common Dagon swarm against uh, well, B Team Blue, Northern Realms. Absolutely. Wow. Do I see? Pr Did I just see Prince Stennis? Uh, I'm, yeah. Wow. Did and here's the second pick of it. I have not seen a Prince Stennis deck. Beautiful. Uh, uh, um. Oh gosh. Because it's Hansel. Not oh, it's Hensult. Okay. All right. Makes a little more sense. Yeah. Open up with a girl in Queenside. I like it. Hey, wait. All right. Wow. That was a good play. I like that. The Quen onto the sergeants to pump them up. And he's going to use Hensult to pull all the sergeants. That was a common play for Hensult decks. Um, mm -hmm. And it'll be massive points, especially with the Quen on them. Beautiful play. Dagon, yeah. and the monsters are going to do what the monsters are going to do. Monsters really, they just don't really care. They're just going to do their own thing. And he runs the crones. I do too. I respect that. I respect that choice. Here comes Hensult probably. No, a reinforced siege tower. Because we can. Why not? Now, I have, I'm, I, this might be out of my, uh, well, I'm in this MMR. I have not seen this deck. Okay. So I don't really, I mean, it's beautiful. I love it. I love seeing new decks. Uh, or at least to me. Here we go. Now here comes the uh, Hensult into the Kedwani. All right. No, I'm so into. Yeah. Okay. All right. And uh, now. Okay. Nothing happens. All He's right. really. Well, I mean, monsters don't run Gigni, so he really doesn't. He really isn't scared of Gigni, obviously, because that's 32 points. Actually, do they run any control that you can probably be afraid of? Some Hardly run right. Scorch. Some run Scorch. Oh. But, but not you ain't all. gonna waste the scorch on the tower because it actually doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Well, look at this. See, that's where we, we just saw some Team Blue. That's where the Ballistas, we, we saw the previous third place game, Ballistas really had no effect. But you see how much the effect they have against this current monster deck just yeah. blasting them. And he's going to do it again and again because that Ballista's just about pop to. those yep, eggs. Yep. He's just going to smash them. Now, the, um, uh, oh, man, I can't think of the name. The Immune Boost. Um mm -hmm will stop that from happening as much. A lot of uh, monster players saw that this uh, Control Northern Realm was happening, and they switched the Thunderbolt yeah. for the Immune Boost, and you see why. It will protect their uh, their creatures. Of course. Uh, do you pass as a Hansel player now? Yeah. Okay, he goes with uh, the woman that strikes uh, lightning bolts, apparently. Philippa Eilhart is, is a really strong card and beautiful foil. I've never, I haven't seen her foil. That is beautiful beautiful card yeah there's the thunderbolt so he runs immune boost and thunderbolt potions galore i think you pass right here if you're northern realms uh you mm -hmm. may stannis now isn't it late? there's only one machine um all right then it's fine I, I think well you have to play for two two more turns though yeah he can probably he can drop that other ballista and get some value from it so he's committing to win this round okay. And he might, looking at the monster player's hand, Gonorrhea is in a bad spot here. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Oh, I love Spear Tip. So Gonorrhea is going to put the tip in. Yeah, and this is going to be huge. Uh, how much scores uh, will it be? Can you count? Oh, if... Uh, <laughs> well, it's going to be at least 10... Well, maybe 10 points, depending if that Quinn goes off that one sergeant. Yeah. So More than ten, less than twelve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is he is he gonna play dandelion? Yeah, so he's gonna play dandelion. Probably pump up the witchers, I would mm. imagine. Not yet, I I think. Uh, Witcher runs... is kind of uh, yeah. kind of uh, you know crones that you want to keep. Yeah, witchers are really okay. So the monster player is still fighting. The monster player is in a real bad spot. He's about to get ballisted. To heck. Ballista down. Yeah, this is going to be a massive ballista. He's just going to clear out all those foglets. That's seven points already. And pop out that wind sign because we can. No? All right. Just give the damage. Oh, no, it's not even damage because of the armor. All right, pass from the monster player, which is a very good time here, I think. You are two cards ahead. The monster player is thinking right now. The Northern Realms crushed him that round, but look how look how many cards he's down. And the monster player has. If you're a monster player out there, you know that he that uh, he's. This is the best possible scenario for him. He's gonna drop one of the crones. Absolutely. Yeah, this is. I don't see Northern Realms. Oh wow, and Karen Theer. I don't see Northern Realms player winning this one. It's just too much. All right. Thaler's okay. great call. That that'll help. That will. Wow, drought. So he really, Max Evans really teched against monsters with this deck. Drought is a killer against this, this particular monster deck, as you're about to see. It's going to just mm -hmm. crush his row. Um, this is interesting. If he had more cards and more resources, this drought would absolutely win. Um, but he's not going to... Look at Look at gonorrhea. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Gonorrhea <laughs> is having tough choices here. He's got oh. it. Though. Too much power. And that's why this deck was so is so powerful. It's one of the top decks. I think it was rated the top deck by Gwenelman. It's just so much that's power. Nice. So much yes. power. He's in a tough position here, though. I think he just plays the Commander's Horn, honestly. Because you want to... Well, maybe, maybe Spear it? Tip. Well... Uh, yeah, you have to go with Spear Tip and hope your opponent passes. Yeah. He knows that he probably only has Witchers left, and, and Spear Tip will activate if he plays his Witchers. It's a really great play by uh, yeah. Gonorrhea there. So, we pass as a Team Blue. Yeah, of course. I mean, look, he, 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 this, this is... If you, have a, if you have one of the Crones and you have Woodland Spirit, you've pretty much got this. Yeah. It's over. This first yeah, round. Of course. Anyway. Yeah, it's too much. He has the Witchers, but doesn't matter. Uh, immune boost. Okay. Oh man, being boost on top of it. This is here. This is gonna be devastating yeah. for Timbla now. Yeah. 
the, the, the monsters are reigning supreme here. And that's just, just, again, shows the power of this deck. This deck that Max Evans has was teched against monsters, and it was still too strong. It's just, it's just a strong deck. There's no other way to say it. Immune boost. Yeah, this is this is over. Okay. Yeah, he pops those uh, witchers out. It gives only momentum lead, but uh, that's uh, right until uh, the Gunneria plays his next card, and the whole situation now looks uh, disastrous. Yeah. For other realms here. Yeah, Gonorrhea, uh, Max Evans was not able to stop Gonorrhea here. Gonorrhea takes what? game one. <laughs> oh, no. No, no BM. I can't respect that. What? I was actually respecting him because he didn't. Look at us. Uh, we're, at, we're at odds. Uh, so game one. Come under score, yeah. <laughs> game one it's goes to... The, whoa. Game one goes to yeah. Gonorrhea. All right. Uh, okay, you have to fast forward like 15 seconds or something. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah, there we go. All right. So Gonorrhea switches to Nilfgaard against Soyatel for Max Evans. Mm -hmm. I like how you do this, by the way. You switch perspectives. We watched it from Gonorrhea's perspective last time. Now we're looking yeah. at it from Max Evans. Uh, it's really great. Thanks. Um, it could be. A, it could be. We should see Siri Dash possibly. So this is a control Soyatel. A very popular again at this time to counter I that like monster it. deck. Yeah. Uh, I like those girls that set the bombs to their row and then they just oh, blow yeah. the. Oh yeah, yeah, man. Especially this is like monsters. the ideal uh, girl you want to have in relationships. You know? <laughs> they just bombs. So it is a Siri Dash deck. Um, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah a great Northern. Uh, I mean, Nilfgaard deck. And we see Soyatel doing what Soyatel does. Well, it used to do in uh, closed meta. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. Brand my good my good friend uh, and uh, Gwen to Dark partner Codexo popularized this King Bra uh, Burn uh, Brand play. Excuse me, uh, Brain or Bran or whatever her name was. Clears out the Alba. Brand play. <laughs> uh, and and Gonorrhea is just gonna thin his deck down. This is basically a thin deck. For those of you not familiar, mm -hmm. basically what he's doing is pulling resources from his deck to get to Siri Dash over and over again, and to get to the pl the, the cards he wants. Now the to reveal. This is going to be land on the top. Uh, I'm wondering if he has the other. Um, There's you know, a seer ambush cards. Yeah, he's and this is gonna look how look at the value he's gonna get from this uh, ambush. Yes, look at this. This is beautiful. That's why I love it. <laughs> you you just said and the your opponent understand that he has no way to deal with it unless you want to thunder it. But... Yeah, he does thunder. No, he doesn't. Here he we go. It. The punish is real. Now he's in a tough position. Now Max Evans is kind of a tough position here. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Puts another bomb. Puts there. You go. Your your card's getting. But see, he's not gonna get value out of that really because the armor. Yeah, but you can hit Roach for two. It's fine. Why not? Hit the horse. <laughs> when you hit the horse, you actually interfere with, uh, you know. Uh, opponent's uh, mentality <laughs> because like they used to have roach as their like horse in the witcher and when you hit the roach in game that kind of uh, you know makes them angry no does yeah, maybe we'll just say maybe uh not uh, a great so... not a great pull he's not really happy with that because now he has to pump up yaven which is not what he wants to do uh yeah yeah yaven is terrible with pumping up <laughs> Now he does have a hidden six, eight, ten, twelve. So he has really fifty-two points. Um, mm -hmm. With with oh, so Avalok. Yeah, Avalok. Look at the look at the thinning of that that Nilfgaard deck. It's only like <coughs> six cards left in the deck, and it's only Ooh, first wow. round. And he played like five Siri. cards. Okay, mm. he gives the round. To the I don't know Spotel. about that Siri play. That Siri, he kind of wasted Siri there. Uh, the Nilfgaard player was giving him that round. Uh, it might have yeah. been, a, yeah. I might want to keep Siri till round two. Um, but he, he did win round one, and he is pretty behind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, that was. Uh, he might want to take that one back. Let's sure. see. 
uh, Albrecht, and there's another draw, Gaven. Um, yeah, now you can utilize Gaven though. It's uh, a bit, a little all over the place with his buffed health, but buffed points, I mean, but you have Scorch, it should be fine. Definitely, yeah, you're not worried about that. Plus, you have, uh, um, I have a luck though. This, look, be he only has, yeah, yeah the, the thing about this Nilfgaard deck is it always, always, always just gets the card it wants. And then you have a Seer, the 10 strength card to shuffle two cards back in to really get what you want. Um, and you have that Siri Dash. One of the last three cards is Siri Dash. You know that. So, uh, and you have, um, you can draw another card. And, man, it's just tough. Yeah, if you play this deck without, like, uh, Gwent Tracker you can really uh, train those uh, memory of the cards in your deck. Yeah. You can be narrowing down the possibilities until you get it right. And then you just have it, the uh, skill of being um, thoughtful uh, about the cards in your deck. That was a good play by uh, Max Evans. He's actually even on cards, so he's keeping in. He's like, I'm going to try to drain your resources. There's Siri Dash. Yep. Uh, he has them. Nilfgaard has only two cards left in the deck. Might as well keep on playing. Uh, sure. I mean, what do you got to lose? You don't have a lot of resources. All you have is defensive cards. I might well, of use... course. Uh, you you can't really stop playing as Nilfgaard because you you need to win this round. Right. And they have a lot. Of, look at the points in Nilfgaard's hands right there. We see. Yeah. Gets an archer. I don't know if this deck's gonna have enough power to beat this Nilfgaardian surge. Nilfgaardian. There's Siri Dash. You're Nilfgaardian. Look at yourself. <laughs> Nilfgaardian. Uh, man, he's in a tough position. He really is. Um, Do you? I don't know. I mean, Alzer's Thunder. There's. Ugh, he's, this is tough. pathetic. Oh, yeah, man. there's tough. It's tough. Now he does have. Uh, if you're if you're Max, uh, you do have the Demetrian bomb to counter the mm -hmm. um, Tibor, but mm, oof, not looking good. And there's no targets. I mean, you're really screwed here. I think you, you're this, fast now. Oh, man, I don't. Yeah, because you don't want to use the ten strength card, and the names escape me. That's terrible. Um, mm -hmm. Right now, because you need that for round three. Here we pause. You can eat nope. Villa Metromerth for the. Yeah, you have to, and you don't want to if you're if you're Max. You do not want to pass. But what choice do you have? If you commit that ten, you're. You're pretty much. Yeah. Uh, okay. Burn fifteen. Twelve to uh twenty now. That's not a bad play. Just to keep not it going, because you're gonna get another scorch back. He's gonna be counter scorched though, I think here. Yeah. By ten. Oof. Gonorrhea is masterfully playing this game right now. This, this is a this is a showcase. Um, right, the trap. I mean, the... he's trying. He's he and and Max is playing this very well. He's trying to just drain as many resources as he yeah. can. He's. I mean, he doesn't have a good hand, really, and he's playing but, really smart. Yeah. What about hand though? He has only one card left in his deck. So, so yeah. they, his hand couldn't be much better. Right, that's true. No, you're right. That's a good call. I, that's I think that Siri play kind of hurt because it would have really put him way up in card advantage. He had more options. Um, yeah, you can see now that Gunnery is not really sure about his next play. Yeah, because he's. I mean, this is good by Max because he doesn't know what Max has. So Max yeah. is playing it smart. This is good. And actually, this trap one turn I had uh, did bring value. It, uh, well, at least two points, but something. <laughs> yeah. Now you gotta, you gotta pass here. Maybe use the last rate. Maybe, but that's the last card you could use. But I think I use the last rate. The girl with a black cat on him. <laughs> I think like, you. I think you got to. Are you to. suggesting it? Just for a record here. Yeah, are you suggesting last rate the girl as a, <laughs> as a cat? Listen, gonorrhea has no mercy, man. Can't have mercy on gonorrhea. You got to take it out. <laughs> all right, all right. I know, it's terrible. I, 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 I'm a bad person. And we're going to see Siri Dash for 15. That's the power of that card. 
Uh, he probably will kick back Peter. No, we kick. Well, what did he kick back? I lost it. Uh, you can uh, rewind it if you want. Yeah, he's got the he's got the way to draw cards. So you saw three different three rounds, three Siri dashes. The power of that card. Um, mm. Clear skies. No. Yeah. Well, he has nothing in his deck. Yeah, so that was a yeah. good call. And bummer. And of course, he's just going to draw more cards. Now he does have the T-Bore answer, which will make this close. But I don't, I don't think he has the power necessary to uh, do anything. That's already right, the second game, though, isn't it? Yeah, this is it. If 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 Gonorrhea wins, then Gonorrhea is uh, the champion. But if Max Evans wins, then we go to round three. Uh, uh -huh. got to play. Yeah, got to play Phil Metromerth now. He's gonna play. He's gonna play Gigney. Oh, he's gonna go ahead and play it. Why not? I guess. Or here comes D bomb. Yeah, last raid that is partially useless here. That's gotta feel good if you're. Mm, yeah. Yeah. If you like green and uh, cucumbers. He'll get 16 yeah. points from not enough. It won't be enough, but it'll be close. He gets 16 points from the Scorch, bring it to 30, and he'll swipe for 6, which will bring it to 24. Mm -hmm. So he'll lose 24 to 18. Really good effort by Max Evans to try to beat the plague that is gonorrhea. Um, actually, worse than that, by just just 2 points. Um, ah. Really well was... really well played to make it that close. He should be very proud of that effort. Great plays by gonorrhea. Uh, yeah, well... So, Gonorrhea, congratulations. You are the 14th Bowstring Tension Cup champion. Absolutely. And I am assuming he's already enjoying his price. Though, for the prices, guys. Uh, is this a cool game in tournament? I get an, a question in our Twitch chat. What do you imagine? How do you feel about it? I... Yes, of course, it's a coil gaming tournament, and uh, I am the host of it, and Shifu is a, our great caster. Uh, actually, we have one tournament tomorrow, which is going to be showing off with uh, cash prizes. I'm going to drop the link to it uh, right in chat to answer your question. There you go. Uh, so, once again, for everyone watching it on YouTube, uh, Join the post Tension Cup. It's a weekly tournament every Monday. Uh, I'm there all the time if you need me. Just PM me on Discord. I'll answer all your questions. And uh, as I said, it's a weekly tournament, so it passes by all over the week. So my message doesn't get old. And <laughs> she just loves there. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, uh, yeah, so... <laughs> We, now that we're getting videos consistently, because for a while we didn't get videos, um, we're going to do, I, I hope, every Sunday about this time, there's going to be the cast of the bowstring. Um, and so just keep on sending those videos. Uh, it's getting, I think it's getting, it's actually, it looks like it's getting more and more people every week. Am I right? It looks like it's growing it pretty well. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. And, and you see some great plays. This time, gonorrhea uh, won. <laughs> I mean, just real great plays. I mean, you saw the best decks. Uh, Max Evans did a great job fighting back. Yeah. He really didn't have the appropriate answers, but he made it a game. And that, to me, is what makes Gwent so amazing, is that it, you can you can beat anything if you play it really well. So, uh, great plays by Max also, Evans. Also, we, we have, like, third place, uh, third place match. Uh, yes. In which the winner of the previous tournament uh, was playing. So... He was just one ma one victory short out of uh, final game, but uh, it shows the consistency of players, and uh, it really shows that uh, Gwent is a skill-based game because uh, uh, not every Hearthstone player can uh, consistently make it to the top of the each tournament week by week. But in Gwent, we actually managed to have same faces, and uh, it's uh, beautiful to see how this uh, shape of the players. Uh, uh, I mean, game-wise, uh, uh, changes from week to week. And for, say, today, the Gunnery is our champion, but tomorrow we'll have uh, another, like, no-name amazing player who's going to uh, show who's the boss in the house to some other names we have. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, you, um, Max Evans uh, 
came in. I don't know if this is. I think I remember seeing on Discord. There's a quite a few first time people, and they did really well, and they were really surprised by how well you did. I mean, just join the tournament. You could win cash, and you get this great experience, and it's run really well. Like I can't give Sithis enough credit. It's run exceptionally well every week. He's there all the time to answer questions. Um, I mean, you know, guys, seriously, it's one of the best tournaments. I, I, I cast two tournaments, and 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 they're just really real well-run tournaments. Thank you, your kind words. And I guess we're gonna head to, to wrap it up. Yep. What do you think? Okay, I just, for me, I just want to say uh, congratulations to Musher, uh, Maxim, Max Evans, and Gonorrhea. Uh, great games. I enjoyed it. Y'all were great players. Thank you to Sithis, as always, at every week, for letting me do this and cast with you because you're great. You're welcome. And uh, thank y'all for watching. Yeah, I said all the information I wanted uh, just before, so get click on that link and see you tomorrow. Later.